The Chamber of Secrets In the dead of night, Tom awoke to a chilling silence, his eyes adjusting to the dim light of a single flickering bulb hanging from a high ceiling. The room was unfamiliar cold and stark, with concrete walls and a heavy metal door. His last memory was walking home from work. How he ended up here was a mystery. Scattered around the room, were objects that seemed oddly out of place a rusty key, a torn page from a book, a mirror with an ancient frame, and a digital clock counting down from one hour. Tom's heart raced, this was no accident, he was part of someone's twisted game. The key didn't fit the door, it was too obvious, too easy. He examined the book page, finding a riddle that hinted at the mirror, in the reflection. A series of numbers glowed faintly on the wall behind him was this the code to unlock the door. But when he entered the numbers, nothing happened. Time was slipping away and panic set in. The room seemed to grow smaller, the air thinner. He pounded on the door, screamed for help, but his cries were swallowed by the thick walls. Then Tom noticed something. The clock wasn't just a timer. It was a clue. The numbers corresponded to the letters on the torn page, rearranging them. He decoded a message, looked beneath. Frantically, he searched the floor and discovered a hidden trapdoor. With no time left to think, Tom opened the trapdoor and descended into darkness. The passage below was narrow and winding leading him deeper into an unknown labyrinth. His only choice was to move forward, relying on his instincts to survive. Every turn was a gamble, every step a risk. But Tom refused to give up. He thought of his family, his life outside these walls, and pushed forward with determination. Hours passed, or maybe days, time lost meaning in the darkness. Finally. He saw a light, a way out, emerging into the dawn of a new day. Tom realized he had survived, but the experience would haunt him forever. Who had put him there? Why, questions lingered. But for now, he was just grateful to be alive, to breathe the fresh air of freedom. And in that moment, Tom knew his life would never be the same again. The Chamber of Secrets had changed him shown him the depths of his will to survive. But it had also left him with an unshakable feeling of being watched, of being part of a game far greater than he could comprehend. The Labyrinth of Fear Tom awoke in a strange, dimly lit room, feeling the cold, hard floor beneath him. The only source of light was a flickering bulb casting eerie shadows on the concrete walls. He remembered nothing after leaving work the previous evening. Panic surged through him as he realized he was trapped in a game of survival. Scattered around the room were bizarre objects, a rusty key, a torn book page, an ancient mirror, and a digital clock counting down from one hour. The door was locked, and Tom understood he needed to solve this puzzle to escape. But as he attempted to use the key on the door. He heard a sinister mechanical sound. The floor beneath him began to shift. Opening up to reveal a pit of spikes, Tom leaped away just in time. His heart pounding in terror. This was no simple escape room. It was a deadly trap. The torn book page contained a cryptic riddle. Pointing towards the mirror, in its reflection, Tom saw glowing numbers on the wall. Assuming it was a code for the door, he input the numbers. But instead of opening, the door released a cloud of hallucinogenic gas. Tom's vision blurred, and he fought to maintain consciousness, realizing that every wrong move could be lethal. With time running out, Tom decoded a hidden message in the clock's countdown sequence, leading him to discover a trapdoor beneath a loose floor toe. He descended into a dark, narrow passage, but this new path was fraught with dangers. The corridor was lined with tripwires triggering hidden arrows. 
forcing Tom to move with utmost caution. Each step was a gamble between life and death. At one point, the wall started closing in, and Tom had to use all his strength to hold them back while he found the hidden switch to stop them. Ours felt like gaze in this nightmare. Tom's resolve was tested as he encountered one harrowing trap after another. He crawled through a tunnel filled with razor-sharp blades, narrowly avoiding deep cuts. Then, he had to cross a room where the floor tiles were electrified, using only his wits to determine the safe path. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity of fear and near-death experiences, Tom emerged into the light of dawn, gasping for breath. He was free but forever changed. The horror of what he had endured would always linger in his mind. As he walked away from that place of terror, Tom realized he was part of something much larger and more sinister. He couldn't shake off the feeling of being washed. A pawn in a cruel game designed by a twisted mind. His life had been spared, but the mystery of who and why remained. A haunting question in the depths of his soul. The Unending Nightmare Emma's eyes flickered open to a room bathed in a dull, red light. The walls were metal, lined with wires and pipes, giving off a faint, ominous hum. The last thing she remembered was her car breaking down on a deserted road. Now she was in this mechanical hell, her heart racing with fear. Round her lay a few items, a broken compass, a cryptic note filled with riddles, a flashlight with flickering light, and a timer set for two hours. The door was bolted shut, and it was clear that Emma had to solve these puzzles to escape. As she explored the room, she discovered that the floor was rigged. Pressure plates triggered spikes to shoot up from the ground. Emma narrowly avoided being impaled. Her leg grazed by a spike. Blood trickled down her shin, but she pushed forward, driven by adrenaline. The cryptic note led her to a sequence of levers, hidden behind a loose panel. Pulling them in the right order based on the riddle opened a hatch in the ceiling. Climbing through it, Emma entered a series of carriers, each presenting new dangers. She navigated through a maze of laser beams that would trigger an alarm and release toxic gas upon contact. Her hands trembled as she carefully moved her injured leg aching with every step. She barely made it through, coughing as she inhaled a small whiff of the gas. Emerging from the building, Emma thought she had escaped. But she was wrong. The outside world was not the sanctuary she hoped for. She found herself in a desolate landscape. With no sign of civilization, her flashlight flickered in the enveloping darkness. The broken compass useless. She walked for miles, her lead wound becoming increasingly painful. Suddenly, she stumbled upon a wire, triggering a net that hoisted her into the air. Trapped and dangling. Emma realized this was still part of the game. She had to cut herself down and keep moving. Despite her exhaustion and pain, as dawn broke, Emma finally saw a distant town. But as she approached, she realized it was abandoned, a ghost town. Her heart sank as she understood the truth. This was all part of a larger, more horrifying game. There was no escape, no safe place. The town was rigged with booby traps, each building a potential death trap. Despite her injuries and despair, Emma refused to give up. She navigated the town, constantly on the lookout for traps. She found minimal supplies to tend to her wound and sustain her. Each day was a fight for survival, a relentless struggle against a faceless tormentor who seemed to be always one step ahead, haunted by the constant threat of danger and the mystery of her captor's identity. Emma vowed to survive and uncover the truth behind this unending nightmare. She knew she couldn't let fear win, for the moment she did would be her last. Shadows of the Maze Tom and Emma, survivors of harrowing ordeals in the Chamber of Secrets, 
and the unending nightmare found themselves in an abandoned town, a place where the shadows whispered of past horrors. Tom, still haunted by his escape from the labyrinth of traps, and Emma, limping from her continuous struggle for survival, met by chance, or perhaps by design. They quickly realized they were not just survivors, but pawns in a larger, more sinister game. The town, with its ghostly buildings and eerie silence, was yet another level of this twisted game. They shared their stories and decided to join forces, determined to find their tormentor and end this nightmare. As they navigated the town, they encountered intricate puzzles and traps. Tom's keen problem-solving skills and Emma's survival instincts made them a formidable team. They dodged shadowy figures and mechanical traps, each step bringing them closer to the truth. Their journey led them to a grand, dilapidated mansion on the outskirts of town, the heart of this labyrinthine world, inside. They discovered a control room filled with monitors, each screen displaying different parts of the mazes they had endured. It was clear now someone had been watching them, orchestrating their every move. In the mansion, they encountered the mastermind, a disgraced scientist named Dr. Adrian Harlow. Obsessed with human psychology and the limits of fear, Harlow revealed that he chose his subjects to study their reactions to extreme stress and terror, all for his twisted research. Enraged and horrified by the revelation, Tom and Emma fought back. They used their knowledge of the traps and Harlow's own control systems against him turning the hunter into the hunted. As Harlow desperately tried to regain control, they outsmarted him, using his own devices to trap him. With Harlow cornered, they contacted the authorities, the police, who had been searching for the missing individuals, arrived and were shocked by the extent of Harlow's madness. They arrested him, and his reign of terror came to an end. Tom and Emma emerged from the mansion as the sun rose, a symbol of their newfound freedom. They had survived the unimaginable and brought a monster to justice. Their bond, forged in adversity, was unbreakable, and they vowed to support each other in the healing process. As they left the town behind, they knew their nightmare was finally over. They had faced their fears, outwitted a madman, and emerged victorious their story of survival and courage would be a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of the evil.